of another exciting episode of This Is Our Life, and I made a video. I want to deal with. Uh oh. Okay. It kind of stopped on me there. I want to deal with two things here. First, I want to take the EMT basic class. I've been looking around um, here in New Cary. So far I haven't found the price on the classes. The best option that I've seen is at Keene State over in Keene. We live just down the road. Um, I'm not going to say exactly where we live, but we live down the road. Anyway, um, you have to take two concurrent. You have to take concurrent classes. You have to take two classes concurrently, not one after the other or anything. Anyway, they're semester-long classes. That's what I would prefer. See, in college, I took. In college, I needed two PE credits. I thought I was being smart, and I took first aid health and safety, which was worth three credits. I did not know, I did not understand that I needed activities credits. And activities credits are. Those classes are only one credit, are worth only one credit each. So I took first aid, health, and safety, and I completed that. But I didn't complete any of my other PE classes. Well, the counselor should have explained better to you. Yeah, that's true. Um, so. I have three PE credits, but they're like extras. They they don't really count toward my graduation or whatever. But I don't want to take a whole bunch of classes at King State. I just want to take those two classes. If I have to take some remedial classes, that's great. I wouldn't mind doing that. The other thing I want to want to now uh, there are other places I can take this class, but it's only a month long. I think it's a 110 hour class. And like I've talked to some people and I say, yeah, a month long really isn't long. You have to really get into it. So that's why I prefer to take it at Keene State. Thing is, Keene Housing will not, you can't be on housing if you're going to school. Kind of like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. You want to get off of assistance, but they do everything to keep you on it. It makes so, no sense. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Um, in other words, they don't really want people off of any assistance. But, um, you know, the I did, I, I'm sorry, but a, a, a month-long class is not going to cut it for me, not for EMT basic. I could see if you were already working as an EMT and use some of the stuff, but... Yeah. But so you know, I don't know what what I'm going to do about that. That's one option for employment. Another option, and this is what Carolyn keeps telling me, is I need to open a Mexican restaurant. Um, one option there is you know, the thing is we don't have the money for it, but a food truck, a taco stand. Um, this time of year, I don't think so. Uh, well, right now, yes, but. Maybe if we went into Boston or something, we could keep it open during the winter, but... Yeah, but you, even in Keene, like there's the taco stand in Keene, and I, I think he's closed all winter long. Um, well, I've hardly ever seen the thing open. Yeah, you know, and it's over by the college, so, you know, it's for the kids. And yeah, you know, me at my age going to college, it's one thing in San Antonio where you had mixed age groups at SAC. It's, it's hard going to college when you're older than your 20s. Yeah, and when you're younger, you, you know, your mind is open to everything. And you have more energy. And yeah. And then, but, you know, I've seen what they have over at Keene State and their kiddos. 
no disrespect to anybody I'm not saying that in a disrespectful manner but when you're young enough to be my child <laughs> you're a kid <laughs> you know so I don't, even. yeah I don't, I don't well, actually you know what there are people our age that have grandkids not in college but there are people our age who have grandkids so but I am if everything is say normal I would be close to having grandkids right now yeah you know, so but anyway so those are two options uh, it looks like the neither one are all that easy because if I wind up going to school we lose assistance so the thing is if I do get my EMT basic where am I going to work here our t in our town I could be a volunteer which I would love to do especially to get the experience and then how how often is the ambulance called out here once in a blue moon uh, a know. few times a week probably I heard the thing last night too oh I you know. did I but don't know if it's the ambulance or if it's the fire siren but I call it the foghorn yeah it sounds like a foghorn um, and one of our neighbors over here he's like the assistant fire chief so maybe maybe I could talk to him actually the other day we were at the junk shop I don't know what it's called what's that the red barn the red barn and a guy pulled up and he had I'm not gonna say the name of the town again but the town name and EMS on his license plate and I was like he went in the store and I was like man you know I should have talked to him but well the guy who lives next to us we could play with his dog and <laughs> yeah <He> oh. <laughs> yeah his dog is, is always has a ball a deflated basketball or something in his mouth yeah He's a he's a nice doggy, of course. With he's lucky, he's a golden retriever. Yeah, probably older, you think? Yeah, but he always carries around something in his mouth and. Yeah, he's cute. He's only barked at us once, but he kind of barks like, "Hey, friendly you want to come play?" You know. It's a friendly bark, not a. Yeah, not a mean attack. Not, yeah, so. I think some dogs don't have a mean bone in their bodies. Yeah, yeah, he's one of those dogs. Lucky, on the other hand. Well, I think Lucky's not mean. It's just he's trying to be macho. Yeah. Hey, she said something in Spanish over there. That's pretty good. What? Macho. Oh, <laughs> mucho gracias. <laughs> so anyway, so the taco stand. Cause see, I made gorditas the other night. They're not necessarily the gorditas that like who, I took. They're not puffy. Yeah, I took puffy. Carolyn to this one restaurant in San Antonio, and they they have puffy gorditas. But these gorditas that I made are kind of a like between that and what this one taco stand sells in San Antonio that I used to go to a few times. I went to a few times. I could get away with selling that up here. And the people up here wouldn't know the difference, probably. Yeah. Um, but um, I can make regular tacos. I can make fajitas I could make burritos burritos you know I make all sorts of stuff I mean from a from a, a stand from a truck you know uh, I'm not talking make enchiladas no well, from a truck though uh, well, well I guess you could still do it from a truck but they take longer though don't they yeah but you know when we make enchiladas see there I go again how do you say the en enchiladas enchiladas not enchiladas um you uh, can make them like make them ahead of time and then stick them in a pan and don't look at mama that way don't give me that attitude and um he thinks he's boss of the house yeah we took the garbage out so he's upset because there's nothing wearing to snort around in yeah he needs a cat he def he needs a playmate a cat a squirrel or whatever he needs a playmate and I wonder if a ferret would get along with him or not. I don't know. So hopefully in January, hopefully in January we can muster up the courage to ask our landlord if we can have a kitty. We would like a cat. Lucky would like a cat. And he hears me saying kitty cat. 
So anyway, so those are two issues, you know, about work. Um, let's see if if we had a taco stand, Carolyn could work there with me, because that woman right there makes some mean tortillas. It is a white woman from Illinois who makes some makes tortillas better than I do. So make a lot of pie dough. You learn how to roll things out. <laughs> so well, there you go. See, so. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you know, we'd have to have startup money for that. As for the cost of EMT training, I'm either I could get a grant, a loan, or could, I could come up with the money myself to pay for it. So. Or the, that one program I keep telling you about that like triples your money. Yeah, there's a savings program they have up here for people. And, we can wind up with enough money to buy a taco truck. Yeah, well, that's... Oh, there you go. Then the thing is, then what would we do during the winter? Winters are long up here. They last 12 months. No, they... <laughs> um, they, they are... It's 31 degrees right now, and they are saying that in the next... Uh, about roughly next week or so, uh, another nor'easter and either rain or snow or a mix of the two. So. I would say six or seven months the winters are. That's long. Probably November through May it starts to warm up, I would guess. Who's that? So anyway, the only thing I can think of that we need from the dollar store is maybe one or two rolls of uh, wrapping paper. And aluminum foil. And then, yeah, we need aluminum you foil. Keep losing the aluminum foil. I don't know what you do with it, but and um that's you know, that's like the main thing. It's a dollar store, I mean come on. You know, anyway, so Well some people buy everything they can everything you can imagine from there too. Yeah. So it's cheaper than Walmart. Yeah. Now I wanna thank that person who commented I didn't find the I, you posted it maybe a month ago, and I just found it on my on my YouTube profile. I want I appreciate that. Um, good information. Thank you. Um, Lucky's looking at this like, what's going on? Who is that, Lucky? So anyway, if anybody has any information on any comments, any ideas on. EMT training. Like I said, I don't want to do a month-long EMTB training. I want to do. I'm, I'm, I want. I'd rather do. A, you know, a four-month, a semester-long course, or even a quarter, three months. But I don't know. And um, a food truck, taco stand. I call it a taco stand. Um, I could come up with a, a great name. Putting our two heads together. We could come up with a great name for it. Um, in uh, Espanol, uh, I mean, in, saying it in English, uh, Princess Carolyn's Tacos, something like that. Anyway, bye.